A few days ago, I won 100 bucks just from picking whether or not these three dudes would get more or less than their projection. It was really fun keeping up with the game. When Giannis got that last block, I just wanted to kiss him on the lips. Not in a weird way though, just as like a thank you. If you want to join in on the fun, go to Prize Picks and sign up using code NBA Goober for a first time deposit match. Enjoy the video. Sup, dude. After not starting the entire season, Andre Iguodala was named the 2015 Finals MVP. He achieved this honor while averaging a historic stat line of 16 points six rebounds and four assists. If you couldn't tell, I'm joking about that being historic. Winning finals MVP after putting up Tobias Harris numbers is a pretty insane achievement. You know what else is insane? He shot 35% from the free throw line. That's the worst free throw percentage ever by a finals MVP. The only dude who's allowed to win finals MVP with that shitty of a free throw percentage is Shaq, and I'm sorry, but Andre wasn't putting up 38 and 17. The dude most people thought deserved to win it was Steph, who averaged 26 points on nearly 60% true shooting along with six assists, five rebounds, and two steals. The mind-boggling part about this is Steph didn't receive a single vote. LeBron got four votes despite being on the losing team and Iggy got seven despite not deserving any. So what exactly did he do to make people not even consider Steph as an option? Well the answer is he gave LeBron that good D. Through the first three games of the 2015 finals, the Warriors were down two to one and Braun was molesting Golden State. He was averaging 14 points, 12 rebounds, eight assists, nearly two steals and a block a game. In an attempt to slow him down, Steve Kerr put Iggy into the starting lineup so he could guard him. This plan worked. LeBron didn't molest them as hard in games four through six. Then his scoring went from 40 points per game to 30. Along with that, his field goal percentage dipped below 40% and his three point percentage dropped to 27%. This fall in production led to Golden State completely taking over the series and beating Cleveland in six games. So basically Iggy was given finals MVP because he was the dude who stopped LeBron. Well, at least that's the narrative that's been pushed. According to this graphic, when Iggy contested LeBron's shot, his field goal percentage was just 24%, but I'm pretty sure this is propaganda. About a year ago, Legend of Winning went back and analyzed the 2015 finals. He found that in games 4 through 6, LeBron shot 10 for 20 with Iggy as his primary defender. Now, I'm not the Einstein of basketball, but I don't think shooting 50% is getting locked down. Matter of fact, that's pretty damn efficient, so why does everyone think LeBron couldn't handle Andre's D. Based on that stat alone, it seems like he barely even phased him. I understand you can't evaluate the dude's entire defensive impact based on just that, but that one stat tells me enough to understand his impact was wildly overrated. Now don't get me wrong, he played amazing defense. It just wasn't good enough to make it reasonable for a guy who averaged 16 points to win MVP. Especially when Steph was an option, and not only that, but Steph was a great option. They flat out got it wrong by giving it to Iggy. Earlier I mentioned how Legend of Winning went back and rewatched the 2015 finals, well when he did that he realized something. The Warriors putting Iggy into the starting lineup wasn't the only change they made for game 4. They also started pressuring LeBron more when he had the ball. In games 1 through 3 he was going one on one a lot, but then in games 4 through 6 the Warriors started sending more dudes over to help. After understanding this was a defensive adjustment they made, it feels like it was the power of friendship that slowed LeBron down, rather than Iguodala stopping him all by himself. I see what the NBA was trying to do with the underdog storyline, but it just didn't work. It looks weird. I feel bad saying Iggy didn't deserve it because he seems like a cool guy and I don't like dissing cool guys. Although I disagree with him winning the MVP, I do still think he played really well. He was the third best player in that finals behind LeBron and Steph. If he didn't have the impact he had on both offense and defense, the Warriors wouldn't have won that series. You know who else the Warriors wouldn't have won without? Donkey from Shrek, aka Draymond Green. His D is even better than Iggy's. You can click here to watch the video I made on him. Thanks for watching this one. Hope you enjoyed. Bye, dude.